Okay, so this video, I saw this thing of Richard Nixon speaking, and the dude's intelligent, and I mean, I can't knock him for working hard during his upbringing, and, you know, he, he probably had, like, a, a decent um, household that he grew up in, and the work ethic is to be commended, but there was something weird I, I saw, like, um, in the comment section, people are, like, praising him and saying, like, all this like um, China's bad type things, but like there's such hypocrisy in that because Nixon was the one who sent all the manufacturing jobs to China, so it was a video of Nixon kind of bad talking communism, and I'm I'm not a communist. Like I mean, I I play with that and I kind of troll with that. I've I've trolled with that a lot in the past, but I think communism is a step back from liberal democracy. I think in most ways at least there is some some things that can be learnt and applied here but the authoritarianism is wrong which i think we're heading to anyways even in capitalist i think it's going to be all authoritarianism china's basically just authoritarian capitalist right now anyways but the point being is there's this video of nixon and he was bad mouthing communism and saying that communism will never win and then that's kind of what he's doing in the in the public. But then behind the scenes, he ships all the American labor manufacturing jobs to communist China. So I just wanted to point that out because I think people are getting lost in, in personality cults. I think people are getting in these echo chambers. I think the same is going on with any politician. And I mean, I'm not saying like I'm a big fan of any other politician. I'm just saying that people get pulled into these cults of of uh personalities and this is one that i saw an example of so anyways peace